Hello everyone, welcome back to another great episode of Rehana's Cuisines. Today on this episode of Rehana's Cuisines, we are making simple soji siro. Um, this is an Indian dessert, Indian dish that um, um, most of us always have. And so I've had so many requests because I have so many videos, but I don't have zero video and I, I just overlooked it and I apologize for that. So I finally got around to it. It's done. So if you want to watch, if you want to learn how to make this, let's go ahead and discuss all the ingredients. But before we do that, um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't done so, share, 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 share uh, these videos on Instagram, on um, Facebook, everywhere, anywhere that you can think can help people um, to cook more uh, meals at home. Also, there is a bell right next to you on the right hand side of the screen. Smash that so that you can get a notification every time a new video has been uploaded. So without further ado, let's get started. So first thing what we're going to do is I'm going to call out the ingredients. Here I have three fourth cup of milk, which is hot. It's steaming hot. Okay a cup of butter. We're gonna start with half a cup of butter um, and then we'll add ghee if we want. Now, I, And then here I have half a cup of golden raisins, half a cup of crushed almonds, half a cup of um, 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 cashews, which are, they are not crushed, but they're just kind of peeled. So they're like, okay. Then I have here some saffron here that we're gonna use just for garnish, okay. Then I also have for garnish, I have some sliced almonds, I have some edible roses and that uh, rose buds, and then I have some sliced pistachios. And then here I have some saffron, about a fourth of a teaspoon of saffron that we're gonna be crushing it, crushing it just like this. The reason why I'm crushing it is because I want to get out the maximum color and taste out of it. And I'm gonna be throwing that into the, um, milk and the hot milk will just infuse all that flavor all right next we're gonna be um using one cup of semolina i kept that here just so that you can see it's called soji or wheatlets we're gonna put, we'll do a pinch of salt here i have three fourth cup of sugar you could use one cup but i don't add too much sugar in mine so i would i'm doing three fourth you can add a cup if you like um, here I have a big bowl that we are going to be putting water in here. Now, normally you would put it on the stove to melt the sugar. I don't do that. I don't like to mess another stove or another um, pan. So what I usually do is we're going to add in this big pan, we're going to add three cups of hot boiling water. Let's see to get my measurement here. Here's my cup measurement. Okay. All right, so that's three cups right there. Super, you can see how super hot boiling this water is. To that, I am going to go ahead and add my sugar. We're just gonna wait. We're just gonna stir this. This is gonna dissolve the um, sugar. Is completely going to be dissolved so now you don't need to use another pan to just just to melt the sugar right I'm gonna keep that aside we're gonna need that a little bit later and then also I have some ghee here that what we're gonna do is we're gonna roast all our um, the, um, the almonds and the raisins and everything in once they're roasted we'll take them off then we'll put the butter in all right so let's go ahead and add the butter or the ghee. I'm just doing about a tablespoon because you don't need a lot of ghee in here. I'm just doing a little bit just so that we can get our um, nuts all roasted up. And then I'm gonna get that out. And then we're going to start roasting our soji, which is the most important part of the recipe. Um, let me go ahead and give this a stir real quick. I just want to make sure that there's a really nice yellow color that'll come out of it. Okay. Now, if you want it like really yellow, you could add um, color in it, yellow color, but I'm okay with the way it is, right? So I'm just going to put that over here. All right. My ghee has completely our golden raisins, cashew slices, 
and crushed almonds. Now this is very, very optional as far as what kind of nuts you want to put in there. Um, it's really what you have in the fridge or what you prefer, honestly. So it's completely up to you. I'm just gonna let this go. And you wanna wait and you wanna toast this just until you start seeing that the raisins are gonna balloon up. Once they balloon up, then you know that, oh, you know what? The mixture is ready. It's toasted really, really well. So the raisins are coming to temperature. I'm gonna let this just go. The whole trick, that the whole success behind making cereal is really nothing. It's the ratio that you're gonna use, um, the ratio of semolina compared to the water that you put in. And the other thing is roasting the semolina. That is one of the biggest things. If you don't roast the semolina very well, then obviously your um, cereal is gonna taste like it's a kachu or it is, which is um, undone or it's raw, okay? And I can smell all those nuts. And I don't wanna burn it, but I think we've got it. I'm gonna turn this off and I'm going to add this to a plate that I have here. So this will go in later on. All right, there we go. So I'll turn the stove on after I add this. Now, if you took this out of the fridge, then I would say, you know, it's okay if your stove is on, but see how it's already starting to melt. But um, seriously, folks, if you haven't tried my Amrit Pak recipe, oh gosh, please, please try it. It's it's a really, really great zero um, or pak that you can make. It's got so many nuts in it and it's just so, so tasty. All right, now we're gonna turn on our stove. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add one cup of semolina inside. Now when we're roasting our semolina, this is the time we're gonna be able to tell if we need to add any more um, butter or ghee in it. Okay, so at this time, I can tell right away that we need to put a little bit more ghee in it. So see, it really, really depends. So that's why you just don't wanna put a whole lot of ghee or butter in the beginning. Add it slowly. Yeah, I think this is perfect. See how you just wanna loosen it up a little bit, just like that. And also folks, if you haven't watched my video on how to make ghee, watch that video. Um, I make my ghee at home and I love the ghee. It just smells smells fantastic. Nothing close to what you would buy at the store. Um, the one you buy at the store just doesn't smell the same as the one that you make at home. Okay. So you want to make sure that this is roasting until you get a really nice light brown color. I'm gonna keep on doing this and then when we come back, I'll show you how the color has changed. Do you see how the color has changed? And also, I want you to see, Smaya, can they see a very close up to this? I want you to see how the kernels have popped up a little bit. It's, so it's cooked really, really well. So at this time, what I'm going to do is very, very gently, very, very slowly, you want to add the sugar water in here. And you have to be very careful because this is gonna get, it's gonna bubble. So you just wanna do it very slowly. gonna stir this at the same time now we're gonna add our milk in there with the saffron as well at 
this time I'm also going to add my pinch of salt in here. Now that pinch of salt is really going to help enhance all the flavor. Also forgot the most important ingredient that I absolutely love and that is cardamom powder. You cannot have Indian desserts without cardamom powder. You just can't. And if you feel like, see how it's coming together? Um, the when you start splattering, lower the uh, heat a little bit. More item, and that is my rose essence. Um, it just depends. Again, very optional. If you feel like you don't want to put it in there, you don't have to. But now it's at that. Um, it's where I like the thickness. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my all that nuts and raisins that we cooked in the ghee. So at this time, I'm going to completely put my cereal on completely low. I'm gonna cover it and I'm gonna let it go for about, whoop, I'll let it go for about five minutes. And then when we come back, I'll show you how I'm gonna serve this. All right, I want you to take a look at this. Very, very important. This has been going on low for about five minutes. And the reason I want you to take a look at this is because I don't know if you can see, Swear, can you see if they can zoom in completely? But you see that there are pockets of oil or pockets of um, ghee floating around. Um, can you, can they see that? Yeah. Um, this means that our syrup is completely cooked through. Make sure you do your taste test. Make sure that the sugar is up to how you like it. Now, I want to, um, I always like to garnish my uh, food, but what I want to show you is I'm going to put it in this bowl and I want to make, um, I want to make it where it uh, uh, looks really, really good. So I'm just going to show you that I'm going to put it in here. Then when you come back, I'll show you how I garnished it. So I did the shape, you know how I had to put it in the bowl, I just tapped it on top, it came out really nice. All right, so now it really depends how you wanna um, garnish it, really. Just, it's all up to you. So I think I'm gonna take my sliced almonds and I'm just gonna have it go on the sides like this. Now, you can also get smaller like molds or smaller um, bowls and you could do it individual as well. So like if you're having uh, some kind of a get together or something, you could actually have it sitting on smaller dessert plates as well. So really depends how you wanna do it, okay? And then I have some saffron here that I just wanna put up just like that, just around. Okay, next thing is my um, pistachios now I have had a lot of questions about these pistachios and I am I'm sorry but these pistachios I got when I was in um, Dubai um, about a year ago or two years ago and um, I can't find them anywhere I am trying to get a hold of them so if I do find it uh, and if I can get a lot of them um, here then I will try and um, see if I can get to uh, those that are really interested in uh, purchasing these so and if you if any of you know where I can find these even for myself I would love to find some more I've just got a little bit more uh, left to go we're gonna look at how beautiful this looks it just looks too beautiful to even eat so let's get into it um, I'm I get I can take a slice off, but I just want to break it off a little bit. If I just wanted to show you, like, I'm gonna take a big bite because I don't usually eat this. Give this a try. The nuts, the golden raisins, the saffron, and the rose essence. Oh, it's delicious try it the recipe is there now and if you enjoy this recipe please go ahead snap a picture upload it hashtag it Hannah's cuisines i would love to see it <clears throat> thank you so much for joining me on this episode of Hannah's cuisines hope you can join me here next time with another great video see you then friends